Okay, before we get started, a mandatory disclaimer that this is my personal opinion. I'm not sponsored, compensated, or anything else. And free advice is worth just what you pay for it. Okay, uh, my buddy Quadding Shoes, and I hope I pronounced that right, mentioned that he was thinking about getting an electric saw. This is the one I got. It's a 12 inch DeWalt. Don't ask me technical questions, I don't talk technical. Came with the blade cover and a battery, 20 volt, 5 amp. That's all I've needed so far. Uh, if I was doing any really heavy cutting, I'd get an extra longer life battery. I got this for a couple of reasons. This 12 inch bar, which all I need for uh, most of the brush clearing on the trails, stuff that falls over. And it fits in my shorty cargo box very handily. Got to bend the lid a little bit, but uh, it works. Now I'm used to the old gas-powered saws. In fact, the only one I ever owned was a old 250 McCulloch, real beast of a saw on its day. Now, there's some things about this I like. You know, with a short blade, you don't got to spend a lot of time sharpening it up, as you did the bigger blade I had on the McCulloch. I've never had the battery run out. The, the ads say it's good for like 90 pieces of 4x4, four four, which doesn't even come close to the, the brush cutting I do. It's real easy to adjust the blade, which I've got to do because I just finished sharpening it up. On the side here, this unloosens the, well first I'll show underneath here uh, this comes off real easy this is what the covers the workings here and then you got everything in here now and this is the tensioner here now every other saw I've worked on you had to get out your wrenches and take stuff apart to take stuff, get everything off and tension things up and everything else. This is all built in. And it's the uh, cover, when you get to the stop, it'll click and that's it. That's all you got to do. Now some of the reviews I've seen on this before I bought it said they leaked oil. Well, I never had that problem. Uh, take that off. Here's the oil filler right here. There's the wash glass. I'll tell you how much. I got a little less than half. When you take this uh, cover off, got to make sure to clean all around it and make sure you ain't got any dirt on the gasket, otherwise it will leak. I've never had that problem, so I can forget that. The other thing is, this thing has an automatic chain oiler, and it pumps a lot of oil. So, when you're through using it, be sure you clean out all the wood chips and stuff that are in behind there because they get saturated and uh, then when you put it down it leaks out a, a seep all that saturated uh, wood chips start leaking out oil so it's not the machine that's leaking 
this leftover oil in the wood chips. Has a chain break here. Pull her back to run the saw. And if you screw up, and it hits forward and breaks it. This is the uh, well, another thing about the chain break. You got to have that off before you sharpen the blade, otherwise you can't turn the blade with your sharpener. You got to push this button in before you pull the trigger. As soon as you release the trigger, it pops right out again. That's kind of annoying, but it's a safety feature. I can live with it. I wouldn't use this on any big jobs, but for the small stuff I cut, it'll do the job. Does it pretty good. I forget what the price was on it, but uh, I got it on sale. Get some of that crap out of there. I've been happy with it. It does, uh, it doesn't, of course, have the power of a gas saw, but for small stuff, trimming brush and odds and ends around, and, you know, it, it does pretty damn good. You know, yeah. Get back to the oil here. Put the oil in, you gotta pry this cap up. I had some people on the net were saying you, they needed a screwdriver or something to get up. I, mine worked just fine. And that's on with a little plastic tie. And you see there's a piece of sawdust on there already. that off. I mentioned this in one of my other videos. The easiest way to get the oil in, instead of using a funnel, get one of these spouts. Uh, I got this off a, a gear oil bottle. And screws on there real good. And then you can just pour it in. That's it. No muss, no fuss. You got to be careful putting the cap back in. You see, it's got a long shaft there, and there's another piece of dirt. If you got this thing too full, when you put the cap on, oil will come squirting out. Let's see if I got it just right this time. I always manage to squirt some. Ah, I did it right this time. Okay, pop that back down. Pull up. Back in business. Now I got the battery out while I'm putting this back in. Okay, had to enable that a little bit. Anyway, once you got this back on there, say, so gotta leave that just a little bit loose on the tensioner there, or on the, this is the, the cage holder. 
Then you just turn the adjustment until you get just about an eighth of an inch or so of tension. That's good. And you turn that tight and it clicks and that's it. Ready to go out and do it some more. Put the battery in. Pulls right out like that. Snaps in. Back there. As you can hear, that uh, Okay, tensor stayed on there. That's not as fast as a gas saw, but it does the job. That's it.